<laughs> hi, sports fans. We're back with a mob here. We have. Oh, hi. How are you? Hey, hi. Number three. We have Heidi Wilman. All right, Heidi. Heidi's running for uh, what? Are you, Senate. U.S. Senate. That's right. That's right. No, Canadian Senate. Thank you. All right, over here. I know. Over here is. Steve Hall, all right. Not related to Gus Hall, the union. Guy. Right, right. That's correct. And you're running yeah. for state senate. State senate, representing yes. Representing 28 towns. 28 towns out in central and western Massachusetts. You're killing my time here. We, okay, you'll get right. it there. <laughs> and over you, you're the one and only Gino Fratelloni. And we might add that Gino just got a scholarship from Mussolini. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother him, will you? I'm Howard, a Rotarian. Howard Mussolini. And over on our right is... You're on. Al Bell. Al Bell. Al Bell, or Hell's Bell. Let's give him a hand. Thank he's, you. Thank you. He's a f okay, all right. Don't give him a big hit. He's from, <laughs> Al is from. Hi, Edward Al. Jones. How, Eddie Jones. That's right. That's right. Better known as Edward Jones. Edward Jones. Right, which is a financial organization. Mm -hmm. sir. Financial advisor. Yep. I'll get that. Okay. Al is a financial advisor. And, <laughs> sorry, Al. And now, we, first of all, we're going to do a, and I'm you know who. We're going to do a, a, uh, a uh, second part of the interview with uh, Jeff Cornish of AccuWeather. Take it away, please, Jeff. The young gentleman in front of me is uh, Jeff Cornish. Okay, so, uh, no, but I think uh, it's too late for the planet. I mean, what the heck? I don't, I don't. What about, I, what, what, about all I, I, the, what about all the pollution from the wars that go on? Nobody ever talks about that. The pollution for the wars? From the wars, you know. Well, I mean, there, there's a lot of pollution out there, but on the same token, I've talked to people. I used to work in Toledo, and I would do news news stories. On, I wouldn't uh, brag about that. <laughs> Just... That's fine. That's fine. Uh, on environmental topics, and you know, they they have ozone action days, yeah. uh, suggesting right. people to not mow their lawn or pump gas yeah. during the hottest part of uh, of summer days, for example. Um, and and that's because when the temperature is very warm and there's extra ground level um, ozone. Um, and, and pollution that can produce more ground level ozone, which is a problem, as opposed to the good ozone way up in the upper part of the atmosphere. And where I'm going with this is uh, the, the Board of Health in Toledo, at least, is saying that the, uh, the air quality on a typical day now is far better than it was in the 70s. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, you know, we've made some progress. There are some success stories out there. Um, you know, the ozone hole, talking about another issue there that uh, was the, the, the lack of ozone up in the yeah. upper part of the atmosphere. You know, we've seen that generally improved through the regulations on CFCs and all that in the past 30 years. So, you know, I have not given up hope, that's for sure, because there are some good uh, positive signs out there. Some of the Great Lakes are a lot cleaner than they used to be. That well, that couldn't be. And, and the uh, Cuyahoga River doesn't burn in Cleveland anymore. That's true. And it... They've the had several fires. Back, and that's a sign of good lake health. See the fish on the side going, give me a ride. <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you throw a match in, the whole place would burn. Thank you, Cleveland. All right. Yeah. So, they're uh, doing better now. They're doing better. Yeah, well. Uh, perfect, but better. Call up China, see what they're doing. Well, you're right. We got we have uh, some issues there. Yeah. How about North Korea? Do we have any issues there? No. We got to, it's, the Olympics are going to be interesting, and I guess they're in progress as this airs. Uh, well, uh, I hope everybody behaves. Oh, I thought third. Oh, the ceremonies must be. Yeah, the ceremonies. Because they're 12 hours ahead or something like that? Must be. Uh, well, the, yeah. But when, you know, I know. I hope this, I know this is going to be edited. When is this going to actually air it? Yes, between now and the end of the year it should be. It, okay, very good, very <laughs> good. Can it be done uh, for tomorrow or not? Hello? Okay, well, there's my answer. Right. It will either be tomorrow. Uh, so, no. It'll either be edited into tomorrow's show, but probably more likely is the 22nd. I got you. I'll let you know. All right. Very I'll call good. you in the middle of the night. Hey. <laughs> I like that. I like it. But to answer your question, yeah, yeah, I'm very concerned about the climate, but I have not given up hope. I don't think that we're beyond the point of no return. Um, and I think we need to be careful about how we communicate about it because there's, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, there are a lot of doomsday articles out there. They get a lot of uh, they get a lot of clicks and that kind of thing, but uh, you know, not every one of them is necessarily true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, we have to be careful. I think. But that, you got to admit the climate's getting warmer. Oh yeah, I don't think there's. I any remember debate. the leaves hanging on until November. But, you know. Well, you know, anecdotal stuff is tricky, but but I for sure uh, we've been getting warmer and warmer for centuries. 
I agree with you. I remember that because I was with, with the T-Rex <laughs> the other week, and he said, you know, it used to be cooler. Yeah. So, no, it had, a lot of the stuff going on in the Arctic is pretty alarming. Um, hey, you don't need ice. Let them learn how to swim. What the I heck? Hear you. I hear you. Is there oil up there, too? There must be something. I think there is. We can drain the water. Hey, that's it. We'll make money. We'll drain the water. We'll send it to Brooklyn. That's it. So, <laughs> is that where you're from, Ed? I beg your pardon. Is that where you're from? Queens. 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 Oh, okay. I'm but sorry. You dare. All no, right. I was born in Brooklyn, but I learned how to talk after I got out. So. All right. I think I you sound good. I don't have the accent. Uh, I'm from Queens, baby. You do? I like that. I like that. So uh, you have any other questions? Uh, like, uh, where's my hair or things like that? No, I think I'd like to well. point this mark out. <laughs> how long have you been doing this? Living? Uh, about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been doing this since the, I don't know. Well, this is the, this will be the 55th show. All right, that's Before great. Before that, little plug here, we had Weathering the Weather with Ed. That's, that's I did 48 of those. I like that. that. It's educational. With yeah. humor, so somebody will pay attention. I hope so. I that's even had good. some of my students. You can get, you can get those. Well, you can't because you make money. Well. No, no, no. The company can't. For like schools and things like that, yeah, they yeah. can uh, they can download it for free from Peg Media. That's good. That's quick, great. Quick thing. So, uh, and I like to share my salary with you. You've mentioned that. Yes, I I asked for a raise. I wound up with this. Well, Two that's all. All right. But follow your passion. That's you, good. I don't have any passion anymore. Nah, you tell, you're, you're lying to yourself. Except for the New York Mets, I tell you. Yeah. So, what got you into the weather? Well, I uh, looked out the window when I was seven years old, and I said, Is it, by the way, something just ran across your backyard. Do you have a dog? Well, we do have a dog. Well, it was dark and went off to the... Okay. It was probably our dog. Okay, good, because I was just wondering if somebody was up there in disguise. Might have, been, not sure. might have been the Weather Channel. It could have been. It could have been. Yeah. yeah. So I know I got interested in weather when I was young, and I was pretty stupid. I could have gone playing in the streets, you know? Well, I think a lot of us can relate to you. Yeah. yeah, but uh, how, so how many people are at AccuWeather? We've grown a lot. We have about 470 employees now. Um, wow. Most of us are at uh, State College here, which is our headquarters. There are about 400 of us here. These numbers are loose, but uh, there are approximately... I'm loose too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We have uh, 30 or 40 in Wichita, some salespeople in New York City, and then a couple of other sales offices um, in other parts of the world. What are they doing in Wichita? Uh, Looking for the linemen? Well, that, no, that, that's a lot of the, uh, some of the severe warnings for some of our clients. Oh, really? Uh, part of that operation. And a lot of the day-to-day -day forecasters are there, too. But most of our forecast oh. operation occurs in State College. But, but uh, at least two times, I think three times a day, there's a big teleconference between the two. A meeting of the minds, as they say. Or when I did that, it was a meeting of the mind. I like that. You know? Well, so, you're a one-man show, Ed. Hey, you know, come on now. Get me. Uh, I can sure. be available. How much do they want to pay for a reporter here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah, think ask, ask Ellie, you know? Yeah, I like that. What happened to, uh, is uh, Dr. Uh, whatever his name is still there? Uh, Dr. Joe Sobel? Yeah. He's still here. Yeah. He's not on the radio anymore, is he? he you know, I'm not positive if he is still full-time. But I know that he's still involved with some of the weather forensics, some of the forensic meteorology, which is uh, a pretty fascinating branch yeah. of what we do. You know, that's weather in the courtroom. Um, and there are some interesting stories. Well, go ahead. About. we got an hour and a half. Yeah, well, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah one, of the, uh, one of the really successful stories that, that I thought was kind of interesting from, you know, sometimes there might be a criminal case where yeah. the weather plays a role, explaining why... Uh, why do would no longer be on a car early in the morning that had been driven as opposed to right. one that had been yeah, that kind of oh, thing. Oh, you've been watching Columbo too, huh? Yeah, that, that kind of thing. Well, there was a, a little made for TV explainer on that called uh, Due Process, which is clever, you know. Oh. I know, I know. Oh. I would have gone, you're out. <laughs> oh, come on, Ed. That's right up your alley. Due I've got process. enough email. No, that's too corny. Oh, no, no. Jeez. Nothing's too corny for you, mate. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan. Okay, uh, good. So uh, send me the check, and I'll be right here. So, yeah, no, I, some of the real successful stuff um, has been uh, tied to Katrina. 
because a lot of the insurance oh, claim, yeah. you know, flood insurance, uh, flood damage is mm -hmm. not covered through homeowners policy. I have that's flood insurance. Bad. That's good. You're doing better than most of us, but you might. Do you live in a floodplain? No, but I got a big hill behind me. And being a, a meteorologist, I know the climate's changing. Okay. Well, you know, the the one weather variable in the mid latitudes that's increasing more than anything else is excessive rainfall events, statistically, more than a temperature trend or anything like is that. Is that why I floated down the street? <laughs> it could be. It could be. Uh, but uh, one thing that I thought was interesting was with Katrina, there were many, many, many homeowners insurance claims that denied the homeowners right. saying that, well, this was flooding that took it out. It was flooding mm -hmm. and you need that flood insurance to have flood claims covered. Uh, but uh, our team went down there, and uh, it's a very small fa fraction of the, of the operation that does this forensic stuff. Um, but they were able to prove that before many of these homes, especially in Gulfport and Biloxi, and some of these areas that were hit just east of, uh, of, you know, of, of New Orleans, um, that they were actually destroyed by wind before flooding took over. So that made a huge difference in a lot of families' lives there. No, it's kind of a cool story, I think. You probably had a fish there going, you know, I got blown out of the water before it flooded. You know, you know that, that, that was, that was a lawyer fish. All yeah, right. They verify all this stuff with data and all that. And, you know, it all checked out in the court of law. Hey, don't but confuse it, me with facts with data. All right. All right. All right yeah. So uh, is there anything else you'd like to? Anybody there wants to come on? No, you know, my kids are bottled up in the other uh, part of the house with my wife right now. Well, bring your wife on. Let's see what she no, thinks. That's all right. That's all right. No, maybe she works at AccuWeather. You don't know about it. No, she's here with the kids most of the she's time. She's with the Weather Network or something. I don't know. Oh, I hear you. All right. <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, if you ever want to come back again, you know. Well, thank you so much, Ed. I appreciate it. Any and other... If you ever want to tour down at AccuWeather, feel free to let me know if you're ever in Central, Central PA. Yeah, I'll bring a football so I can be out there with the Nittany, All right, the I like Nittany that. chickens. Ah. Yeah, 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 I hear you. All right, I'll let you know when it comes on. All right. All right, thanks Thank a you. lot. Thank you. All right, bye. Goodbye. Okay, that was a great interview. Let's give Jeff a big hand. Come on, all right, baby. All right. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> all right, let's go, let's go ladies first. Gino? Oh, <laughs> Heidi, what do you got to say for yourself? You're running for... Uh... I am running for U.S. Senate. Um, my father had once said to me when I was 12 years old, yes. he says, you want to be a politician? Tell me why you want to be a politician. Because until you can tell us why you want to run, you can't run. He says, are you running because you want fame, you want attention, you want money, you want status? Why are you running? Well, that was when I was 12, now I'm 52. Mm -hmm. And I have a platform. I'm coming in with a platform. I have a message of anti-establishment, a message of anti-corruption. And I want to work. I want to make the Senate work for us because the people down there are not working. Mm -hmm. I believe that we have to keep in a small federal government. We mm -hmm. need to recognize that there's been federal overreach. Yeah. And we need to protect our rights. Mm -hmm. So I'm running for U.S. Senate um, in order mm -hmm. to get the job done. Yeah. Hold it. Time out. Wait Time minute. out. Hey. Stop it. I said stop it, please. She showed up. Huh? June. That better be June. Yeah. <laughs> June. June, come over here and punch this guy. I'm not going to punch anybody. Well, uh, you should, June. All right. I'm just going to do a number and leave. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, sure. Wait a minute, June. This is Oscar Delavez here. No, this is Heidi <laughs> Wellman. She's Hi. running. I'll get these votes. Hold so it, wrong. hold it. I'm doing the introduction. <laughs> Keep going, he said. Good. All right. All right. This okay. is June Sweet. Okay. Don't uh -oh. kill yourself. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Okay. June just committed suicide. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, we have okay. it. We have it live. Move around. Okay. Sit. I'm gonna. Oh, you gotta, I gotta sit. Oh, I can't sit. This is a song. You gotta stand up. Okay. I'm going to tell you a story about two Irishmen, Timothy Kelly, who was a painter, and Pat. I'm sorry, I got it all wrong. Timothy uh -huh. Kelly owned the store, and Pat Clancy was a painter. Now, Timothy Kelly, the story goes, owned a great store, but he wanted his name painted over the door. One day, Pat Clancy, the painter's man, came. Now, trying to be fancy, he misspelled the name. Instead of Kelly with your double L-Y, he painted Kelly, but one L was shy. 
Oh, says Pat Clancy, I'm going to get no pay. I'll reason it out in me whole little way. If I knock the Elot of Kelly, it would still be Kelly to me. With a single L-Y or a double L-Y, sure looks the same to any Irishman's eye. Knock off an L from Killarney, Killarney it always will be. But if I knock the L out of Kelly, he'll knock the L out of me. Now, Timothy Kelly comes by and he looks up at his sign. And he, he, he told Pat Clancy, that's no name of mine. Shame on you. Shame on you, Clancy. Do, do, do you see? Do you see what you've done? You ruined the name of this Irishman's son. Now, now, don't let this L come between us, says Pat. We could reason it out like two diplomats. If I knock the L out of Kelly, it would still be Kelly to me with a single L-Y or a double L-Y. Sure looks the same to any Irishman's eye. Knock off an E from Killarney. Killarney it always will be. But since I knocked the L out of Kelly, he'll knock the L out of me. And that's what he did. He knocked the L out of me. All right, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, all right. It's better if I stand up and do it. You want to get, I think you need her at the, uh, now as our agents, I want to tell you, at your campaign rally, and you, in front of your, in front of my uh, office. In front of your office. Uh, Absolutely. I'll be there with the hooks, bringing them in. <laughs> well, thank you, June. Very good. Okay. All right, let's continue. Who are you? Oh. Let's continue. Okay. All right, you, 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 you have anything else to say? I have no idea what time. Nope. All right, good. You. Thank you, Heidi. Very good. Thank you. Will you stop that, please? <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, come on. Oh, sorry. Good. Oh, sorry. All right. And your name is Steve. Oh, for 28 different cities. 28 different towns from Charlton to Palmer, all the way up to the New Hampshire border, Winchenden, over to Ashby, probably towns that this you may not have heard of. <laughs> Uh, this goes yeah. on the YouTube. I'm sure they're going to know. Yeah. Sure the people in uh, Russia are going to know where they're Right, have, where they're going to have no idea where those towns are. But those are some important people, absolutely. People that are not being heard of or not being heard by the folks in eastern Massachusetts. But they have a voice. And I want to give them that voice. Well, let them use it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm a nursing home administrator by trade. And I was... Uh, Seeing what I dislike about healthcare, a lot of things going on in healthcare that are that are not pleasant when you see it behind the scenes, and I want to go there and make a make a difference. You think the healthcare fees are high enough on prescriptions? They are. Well, that's <laughs> they, they certainly are, a lot of things are expensive in healthcare that oh, don't yeah. need to be, and I think it's a lot of it has to do with too much government intervention in there, and it's it's really about uh, getting people who know what's going on. To, to, to fix it, and that's where that's where I come in. I'd like to go in there and, and fix it. Well, you I'll, have a background. Uh, I have a, a background as a nursing home administrator, and and, uh, and most of the rehab is taken care of uh, in the nursing homes now, and that you get triage in a hospital and you go to a nursing home when you're really sick. So we, we're doing the bulk of the work, and we have a, I have a very good idea how to fix it, okay. and that's why I'm running. All right. May I ask you something? How about sure. Dunstable? Nobody mentions Dunstable. My whole no, hometown was Dunstable. Dunstable, no. Dunstable is not in the it's district, district, unfortunately. So you're out of yeah. order. I'm yeah. sorry. Because <laughs> you said Townsend. That's pretty close so. to oh. Dunstable. Did I invite you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> certainly, I mean, there's other issues I think that we gotta oh. we got to tackle, but... Uh, Taxes, fees, surcharges are all Taxes? Under oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no, they're, uh, no, I don't know if you knew no. that, but they're a little high. No, are they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm A lot sorry. of tolls, that's for sure. What are you hitting me mm -hmm. for? No, I'll just let you know. What? I know you're there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right. Are you running for anything? No. You want to be? No, all right. no, I don't want to be involved. Yeah, I'm not no. running for anything, except for the bathroom, mostly. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is what the hell? Oh, ow! <laughs> what the hell? Bell from the from Liberty Bell. Here he is, That's Eddie right. Jones. So exactly as a financial advisor, not an analyst. Right. Okay, I knew that. So All right. You there wanna, you go. You're making me dizzy with you. Am I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what? What? The, <laughs> how about getting Big Al on screen? I guess not. Al. Oh, there you are. I'll take your hand down. You're on. So if you explain to me what? You, and don't give me this dream stuff. If I want to do that, I'll play a Beverly. Uh, the, uh, uh, well, the let me follow here. right on from what Steve said. I mean, Steve talked about being a nursing home administrator. Um, and one of the things I help people with is planning for uh, health care. I mean, a lot of people will put some money away for the rainy day. The rainy day for most people is going to be long-term care. I mean, that's reality, and Steve can probably attest to that. You know, right now, health care is costing in a nursing home something like $15,000 a month. That's yep. a lot of money. So if you multiply that, that by 12 months, you're talking $180,000 a year. Is that called bankruptcy? Care. Well, that's called losing a lot of money if you haven't prepared for it. And, um, you know, some people will self-insure, but some people, there are other options I talk with people about as well. So What do you mean self-insure? Well, if you have enough money. To buy a policy. If you've got millions of dollars, you, you know, pay for it yourself. I mean, well, you can also get policies. Too. Well, you can get policies. There are <laughs> solutions that we have that I work with a lot of people on, depending on their situation. So that's one part of it. So that's uh, avoiding the d disaster. Um, and then the other side, I, like I, uh, you know, told you earlier, is I help people realize their dreams. I know you don't like to hear that, but I that's like the reality. Those dreams, I'm you like the dreams? Okay. I like the dreams. Or like planning for retirement, taking care of their kids' education, I mean, tax-efficient uh, transfer of wealth or legacy see issues for them and there's a whole spectrum of things that I help people with so um, you know and I have a passion for it I love doing it and um, so you know that's what I do he sounds like he's a candidate running for something yeah, well, I'm gonna put you you're running from yourself <laughs> good one good one all right all right baby don't touch me all right okay I give let's give big Al a hand here all right all right hey uh, you come here come on you're running for lieutenant governor well don't run you'll trip you uh, stand behind me. Stand behind your mother. <laughs> what 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 is your plot? Get Neil down. Neil down so you can get on my. Bless you, my, my child. What the? <laughs> what? Stop looking at the time. You're daydreaming. All right. Oh, what yeah. do you got for your platform? Well. Oh, you're looking at the screen. Yeah, look at this here. Yeah. Look well, over there. The red light. Okay. <laughs> well, what made me decide I wanted to run for lieutenant governor was the you might want to give you a name for it, Peter. Well, my name is uh, Peter Wellman, first of all. And what made me decide I wanted to run for lieutenant governor was the current administration I find uh, hypocritical. They claim they are for gun rights, gun owner rights, but then pass the, the, the bump stock bill. I'm not okay with that. And uh, I decided I'm going to make a stance and I'm going to run against this person. I can go off all day about why I'm running against this person. I know i got limited time here, but... That is one of the many reasons I decided to run against Karen Polito. All right. All right, good. Very good. But stop, stop feeding him information. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he decided this all on his own. All, all right. You got anything to say, Gino? I'm still awake. What do you got? What do you got, Thank Gino? You. Oh, well, Ed, will you talk? stop wasting time and talk? All right. How you doing, June? I'm doing He's, fine. I'm not saying a word. The only thing I'm concerned is... Uh, stop I'm yelling in my ear. And I went to Rory in Westford today, and uh, they need young people because the older ones, they are fading out. Hey, hey, watch it. Yeah, like you, they're fading out. I faded we out. Need, we need young people to come and join Rotary and do servers about salt. They mean do a lot of charity, okay? That's it. Oh, Mike, did I hear that right? He's over? <laughs> All right, let's do a quick quiz here. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right. The New Me first. Did you, uh, you to do, uh, multiple, listen up. The New York Jets are uh -oh. from A, Boston, B, Cleveland, C, London, D, Hunger. I didn't, I didn't hear New York. Well, New Jersey New in there. Oh, for God's sakes, here it is. New York yeah. Jets are from Boston, A, B, Cleveland, watch up, C, London, D, Hunger. It okay, ha they're, they're from <laughs> hunger. Okay, next. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Hey, nice. Stop it. I oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. <coughs> All right. Vlad, thank you. Vlad Putin lives in A, Moscow, Michigan, B, <laughs> Moscow, Ohio, C, Moscow, California, which doesn't exist, or D, Moscow, Russia. No, you're up. Oh, uh, Moscow, Russia. You want me to vote? Don't you <laughs> touch it. All right. Hey, hey. June, you ready? I thought he looked oh, Thank you. Petersburg. New York Knicks are A, great, B, terrible, C, Russian, D, Israeli. Uh, terrible. Thank you. <laughs> They're pathetic. Thank you. All right. 
The combined what? Oh, the combined women's hockey team in the Olympics was. Uh, <laughs> ready? A. North and South Carolina. North South Carolina. B. Hawaii and California. Don't Hawaii and California. C. Westboro, uh, he's your friend, you know. Westboro and uh, Northboro, or D, North and South Korea. North and South Korea. Is that your answer? Yeah. Well, okay, good. Westboro he answered Westboro. it quickly. Let's go over about it. <laughs> 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 Big Al. All right, wait, let's go over a little bit. We can edit. Name three southern states. A, you ready? Illinois, Washington, Minnesota. Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. <laughs> You're not up. It's Al's turn. It's Al's turn. Al, oh. get over and punch her up. <laughs> C, don't know. D, have no idea. What do you got, Al? Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. Yeah, Mississippi? Mississippi. Right. Mississippi. We got Mississippi here. Yeah. All right, Heidi, you got one more. It's it's get we, no, then I got another one. Then we'll go after this. Uh, hi, how are you, Heidi? Heidi, Las Vegas, Nevada, Nevada is located in A, France. <laughs> B, I'm not well. B, USA. C, Germany. USA. My famous one, my favorite one is D, Pago Pago. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm up, Heidi. Pretty sure it's in USA. He would have answered Pago Pago. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but he's not ready for office. It looks bad if I say the wrong <laughs> well, one. Well, you know, it's all right. They don't know something anyway. So here we go. All right. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye, everybody. So wave. Long. Been good to know you. <laughs> And so I've been to stay with Cohen is. And when it comes to weather, Cohen's smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets. Which goes to show that Edge of Joe always bets his heart. You're here.